Well, good morning guys and welcome back to another episode of Old Car Guy. Today, we're doing some Panther platform stuff. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. And yes, we've got Dale in the garage today, not because he's broke down again, he's actually working very, very well, but simply because I had to make a few trips back and forth to the campground yesterday and I decided to take the Grey Goose, AKA the Schwagen, because it's easier on gas. For those of you who don't know, I have a 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis that is all stock. So we're gonna put this track lock 327 gear rear end uh, into old grandma and what we need to do is we need to find out what exactly we need to do before we get there. First things first, she's rusty. Believe it or not, this came out of a 2011. Now, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat is that the brakes have been exposed to the elements and the backing plates are all bent to crap. So one of the things that we're gonna do is we are gonna drain the differential and we're gonna to have to pull the little keys that hold the axles in place so that we can take the axles out. And one of the reasons why we're doing that is because we will be replacing the parking brakes and all the hardware inside. And in order to do that, you gotta have the axles out. Otherwise, you're working in such a really tiny area. Also, the backing plates are in rough shape. So we're gonna be removing the backing plates off of grandma, or I might see just how expensive they are to buy in the aftermarket and we might just put a new set on here and leave grandma alone we've also got emergency brake cables that have been cut now i don't know about you but i see no reason why this particular cable here had to be cut to get this out of the car because i think they connect uh, over here but anyways uh, we're going to have to get this old emergency brake kind of cut out we're gonna remove the bump stops, we're gonna remove the ABS sensors, which are actually still intact, by the way. This is something that they did not cut on me. So we should be able to use those with no issues. If there is an issue, well, we've got two more on grandma that we'll be able to swap over if needed. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, put everything kind of back together that we need to so that we can put the cover back on and then we'll start grinding away at getting the old loose rust off of the grant off of this axle as you can see she's been sitting in the elements i think uh, but nevertheless we'll get the uh, wire brush we'll clean all this up and then we'll get a good coat of black rust paint on it we got a few little things like this this is the differential vent tube that's been uh, broke off there we'll replace that and what we're going to do right now is we're gonna spray down all the bolts with some WD-40 or some penetrating fluid and get started on that. And then tomorrow when I come back, we're gonna give it another spray and we'll just let that stuff penetrate anything that we have to get off of this axle to make sure it goes smoothly. So this is just gonna be a short video to show you guys what we had to do to get ready to put this into place. Now I know some of you guys are gonna be, you know, commenting down in the uh, comment box there about you know, you should be replacing the, uh, the control arms and any bushings and, and blah, 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 blah. We're gonna get grandma in here for an oil change in the next couple of days and we're gonna inspect all that stuff to see what needs to be replaced and what doesn't need to be replaced. The biggest thing that I do wanna focus on is the rear sway bar. Grandma's got the small one. We wanna upgrade to the big one and then eventually we'll upgrade the front as well. So. Once we get that in for an oil change, we'll know what parts we may or may not have to have, and maybe I'll have them here just in case when we get everything apart on a weekend, we're not sitting there fighting um, to get into CarQuest or Napa to get the parts that we need. So I'll get them ordered, I'll have them here, whatever we use, we use, whatever we don't, we don't. So I'm getting pretty excited to get started on this project. We probably aren't gonna be doing anything physically in this video. But in the next one, we're going to start tearing things apart, cleaning things up, and taking a look and inspecting this to see exactly how far we're going to have to go. So as it sits right now, um, we're ready to start on this. Uh, probably one night this week, probably Thursday night, because Thursday night is the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, uh, which is a great segue into that, but I'll get back to that in just a second. Um, 
so usually I don't go down to the campground on those nights. I stay in town. Uh, I've got a couple hours before the show starts, so right after work I'll just kind of start hammering away at this thing, get it tore apart, and see how far we can get in one video, and then we'll have that up for you um, in a couple of days after the fact. Speaking of the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, myself and Grant Tommy, who is straight six fan, we host an automotive related talk show, and well, it's just a couple of car guys talking cars. We've coined the phrase, the gold standard in automotive YouTube talk. So that's one of the things that we have fun with. We have guests on our show. Uh, very uh, In the very near future, we've got Rich from DeBoss Garage, uh, who's gonna be appearing on the show, and we're getting ready for a season finale of season four. So I hope you guys can stay tuned to that. Every show is on Thursday evenings at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern and nine my time. I'm probably the only person in my time zone that watches me. Yes, I do watch my own videos. But nevertheless, hope to see you there. And as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon. I am the only guy that probably watches my own videos. Oh, shoot. <laughs>